everybody, this is Zach from Board with Friends, and today I am really excited because we're going to be learning how to play Big Easy Busking from Weird Giraffe Games. It's designed by Joshua J. Mills, and it plays in about 45 minutes, which is pretty accurate. Um, this game is an area control game, um, and it basically has the awesome theme of you are buskers, which uh, according to the correct definition of this is the activity of playing music in the street for a another or another public place for voluntary donations, in case you didn't know what that meant. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a really cool theme uh, with some pretty cool artwork on here um, that's really going to grab um, everyone's attention, I believe. Um, but let's, for now, crack this open and we will see exactly how to play it. <laughs> Alright, let's go over the components and the setup of the game. So, first we'll go over what you get. Um, you start off with this stack over here. You're going to have your uh, hit song cards. These are just, you know, the actual cards that you're going to be playing with during the game. And you got a nice little stack of those. We'll be setting them up over there. And we'll touch those more on those in a moment because we're going to be setting up the available songs. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to separate from that stack... Um, the player song cards. These are all going to have little indicators of the colored meeple for the player. Each one. So whatever colors you're using, find those for each colored player. Like we got the purple ones that I just showed, we got the yellow meeple ones, and we have... Come here. Come on. Can't pick it up. There it is. Uh, the green ones. Because um, we're going to set this up for a three-player game. Um, each player is going to get a player card, which will reference their band. You got your saxophone player, you got your drummer, and you got your trumpet player. Um, each one will have one of these, as we've set out here. And you got a little indicator, just to make sure you know what color you're playing as. And you're going to get a stack. Each player will get a stack of energy tokens. All right, And they're going to set those up on their player cards using uh, it's going to start with four on each of the band members so four for the saxophone player four for the trumpet player and they should have three extra which will be in a reserve off to the side more on that later and then every player is also going to get three dollar chips because you're going to start off with three bucks um, and then we're going to set up the actual play space. That's how the players set up theirs. I'll do the rest afterwards. Um, you're going to take oh, a couple more final components. Uh, there are more song cards. These are the ability song cards. You start off with six of them, and they are indicated by the star that's on there. Um, these are just like regular song cards. However, um, they have special abilities on them. Now, for a first-time setup, we're only going to use one of these. The, um, there is an advanced mode if you want to, um, if you really like the game. Um, you can use three of these in a game instead of one. But for now, we're just going to use one. So we'll just take the top one. And these special abilities, they're not going to mean much yet, but you can read through them. Um, they do add a little bit more flavor to the game. So what we're going to do is try to get these in shot here, because it's a little difficult. We're going to set up, um, take one of these and put it here, and we're going to put th two cards off the stack with it. This is going to make the standard songs. Now, standard songs are songs that um, anybody can buy and play, but they're kind of, you know, universal. There are They're going to be uh, community songs, but you have to pay a dollar or two to play them. Then we're going to take three more songs off the top, and put them up here, like so. And so those are going to form the melody market. So these are songs that people can purchase on their turn, and then they become exclusively for them, for their band to know. And only they will be able to play them. So you got your standard songs, and you got your melody market. Then up here, we have... We got little tokens here that are going to go on those standard songs. Forgot about these. Um, set these up. Put them on the one side. 
on those to let people know they cost a dollar. If at any point somebody buys one of these um, to play, uh, they're going to flip that over. And on the opposite side is a two to let them know that now it costs more money to play. Uh, and then finally we have, well not finally, there's a couple more things. We're going to make the Royal Street. So you have these. Um, these are the crowd cards um, on either side. These, when you're playing them, um, you're going to place in the first round, you place three of these out. In the second round, you will place four out. And in the final round, you will place five of these out. Um, and they have varying degrees of scoring capabilities. Because in this game, like I've said, we are trying to get the most money. You're going to be putting influence tokens on, energy tokens, sorry, onto these crowds to try to uh, have majorities. And then if you have the majority, you're going to earn whatever this is up here, um, this amount. And then if you meet these thresholds, then you will at least get this amount. So for the first round, we will put out three of these. I'm just going to move that player token over like so. Actually, we'll take these down here so I can reach them better. How about that? Oh, and then finally, now that we have the Royal Street set up with our crowds, um, we're going to be putting out these mood tokens. Um, this is how, when you're playing your songs, you get little bonuses and stuff like that when you're matching stuff out. So we have some different mood tokens here. Um, we have the party token, which is these little beads. Then we have stuff that you drop. We have the romantic token. We have the chill token with the little mask. That's another party token. And then the final one. Come on. So hard to pick up when you got these sausage fingers. Um, and then we have the all token. This matches all moods. So it's kind of like a wild, basically. A little Florida de lis symbol, and I dropped it. Um, so we would mix these up a little bit here and put them out. I swear this is going to be random. One there. Oh, it's... Well, I don't know if that'll work out, but... And you just put them out randomly like so. Um, so now we will get into a round of play and see how this works out. All right, now that we are all set up, let's go over how a turn would look in Big Easy Busking. So on your turn, the first thing you are going to do is finish playing a song, which on the first turn, you don't have a song to finish. Um, the next thing you're going to do is you can tip. Now, your player board is set up with... Four, in, uh, four energy tokens on each of your band members. Now that matters how they are um, uh, how they are distributed, because as you're playing songs, you're going to be removing energy from different band members, and some songs have different energies for each band member, so it's not always going to be even. Um, so you have the ability to tip, which means you can take some of the money that you're earning, and remember you're trying to earn money in this game, but you can spend some of that money to get back some of the influence tokens that you have in your reserve, and then you can distribute them however you'd like among those band members. If you, That is an optional step, you don't have to tip if you don't want to, because sometimes you want to save that till later. Um, the next thing you can do is perform your turn action. Now, those are any of these three things. You can learn a new song from the melody market at the top of the board. If you decide to do that, you're going to spend one energy token from each of your band members and put them into the reserve. So, you, you know, basically everybody uses up one energy token. They get a little bit more tired out, but you've practiced and learned a song. You take that song from the melody market. It is now yours. You would take a new song from the deck and put it into the melody market available for the other players. If you don't want to learn a new song, you can play a song. So you can take a song from your hand and you can, um, as long as you can pay the energy devoted to each of the band members, um, so for instance, this song here uh, would cost one saxophone, two trumpet, and one drum energy. If you can pay that off of your board because your um, band members have that, you can play that song to one of these crowds. What you're trying to do then 
is match the mood tokens. So if you have one mood matching that of the crowd, you get a little bit more bonus for that. And I'll get more of that in once we, uh, a little bit later. Once you've done that, your turn's over, and it moves on to the next person, and they do the exact same things. So what happens when you actually do finish a song? So once it goes back around to your turn, and say you have a song out there, if the mood matches, well, if the mood doesn't match, let's, let, that's a little bit easier to explain. So if the mood were not to match, any energy that's on there automatically just goes straight to the crowd. You don't do anything else. And then you take your song back, you've finished playing it. Even though you didn't match the mood, the energy goes on the crowd, and then this goes back into your discard pile to be used on the next turn. If the mood does match, like we have the party indicators here matching correctly, you have options. So you can choose to put all of the energy from the song onto the crowd. If you do that, that's great. You're probably going to have a majority on there, or at least for a little while. You also get a dollar because you match the mood. You've pleased the crowd a little bit more. The other option, and this is what really makes this game very interesting, is if the mood matches, you don't have to put all the energy off the card onto the thing, onto the crowd. You can take some of it back. So you can put some onto the crowd and put some of it back and redistribute that energy to your band members. This really adds to, especially later in the game, when you're short. Say you don't have enough you know, energy for a saxophone player, but you do have enough for the trumpet and you make a song match and then you can redistribute that energy so that you can play more cards later. A very cool mechanic for that. So let's get into a round of play. I've mixed up my cards here. Whoops, there we go. So the first player is the last person to have tipped a street musician, which I am not sure, at least in Rhode Island, that doesn't happen that all that often. Uh, so you could use whatever method you'd like there. Roll a die, do a start player app, something like that. But I'm going to go first because this is my video, so why not? Um, and what I'm going to do is I have, I'm not going to tip, I have no songs to finish. I'm not going to tip yet because really I haven't decided where I'm going to be playing. So th there's no reason for me to pull that energy from the reserve. I can always tip later on a different turn this round. I'm not going to pass because that is the third thing that you can do. Um, because that would just be silly to do right at the beginning. So I am going to play a song. Um, or do I want to learn a song? Yeah, so up here in the melody market, there is a song up here that is a wild, so I could, it might be a good idea to get that now instead of waiting. But you know what? No, I'm just going to play a song. So I'm going to play this one here, and I will play it to the matching mood because I want to be able to do that. So we'll play this song here, and we're just going to put one energy, one energy, and one energy. Pop that on there. Oh, I can hear my boiler in the background. All right, it's cold up here, folks, sorry. Um, and that's my turn, so I've played that. So now we're gonna move on to Vanessa's turn. Vanessa's playing the purple, because it's her favorite color, and she's gonna look at that and say, Zach's an idiot, he should have bought that song. So she's not gonna play a song now. She doesn't have anything to finish. She's not gonna tip her band yet. But what she is going to do is take one energy from each of her band members and they're going to say, you know what? He can have that early win right there and put that energy on there all he wants. She's going to buy that song. She's going to buy that wild. And now nobody else can have it. And once we played, plucked that from the melody market, we're going to put another one down on there and just refill it. And that is the end of her turn. Now we're going to go over to Sean. Sean's playing green. Okay, Sean's not going to tip, he doesn't have a song to finish, um, and he's looking at the special ability card here. It does say, after starting playing, you can learn a song for one less energy instantly. He's a little upset that Vanessa took the one he wanted, but he's going to pay that extra dollar. And he's going to take this song from the standards, and he's going to play this. So he's going to want to match the mood, because he can still do that. So he'll play that song over here. He has to pay two for the saxophone for this song. 
and one for the trumpet. There we go. And now he can play one, uh, he can also buy a song. Now we don't refill this because that song is going to go back to the standards um, after he's finished playing it on the, his next turn. But now he can look up here and say, all right, what do I want? Um, he could pick up a cheap song, and that might be a good idea. He can look at the energy that he has now that he's spent some. Um, and he's got still four energy on the drums. So maybe he wants to buy something that uses drums. And he has very little energy on the saxophone, so he might want to buy something that doesn't use saxophone so that he's guaranteed to have more energy towards it. So Sean's going to buy this one that just came out. And he can spend his tokens from the two band members and put those into his reserve. And now he's got an extra party song. And since he bought a song, we re-put that out there. And that is the end of his turn. So he got to do both things because he used that special ability and it only cost him an extra dollar. So that might pay off for him in the end. Who knows? Now it is back to my turn. So I have to finish playing my song now. So because I match the mood, I can decide, okay, do I want to put this on here, uh, all my influence on here now, and try to go for majority? Do I want to uh, mix it up? I could just put two on here, and that would meet the threshold here, so I would get this dollar, guaranteed that. But it would be very easy for someone to play a song here and then try to get majority. But at the same time, this one isn't worth as much necessarily compared to uh, this one, which could win three for majority. So maybe I want some songs there. I'm going to say, you know what? I want the dollar. So I will put all my energy onto this card here. And I take this back into my discard. And I get the dollar. And now I'm down to two songs. So I can either learn a song or play a song. Um, I can't use the standard with the special ability. I was kind of looking at that. That would have been cool. Um, it's all of the masks up there. But you know what? I have the love song. I got the stuff for it. So I'm going to play a love song. Why not? Uh, that is going to cost me two drums. And two trumpet. No saxophone. So we got that going for us. And now we jump over to Vanessa's turn. Vanessa did not have a song to finish. She could tip if she wants to, but she's also not going to do that yet. Because um, she's got a lot to work with now. And she is looking at her songs available. She's got this wild, but she's not going to play that yet because it's still a pretty expensive song. Um, what she's going to do is she could contest me for the love song. Whoops. Or she could um, actually. Vanessa's going to go for that. She's going to say she's going to play this song right here. And it's going to cost her one saxophone and all three of her trumpet energy. So now she's out of energy for her trumpet. But she will also, if she decides to put all of the energy onto here, she'll be able to get the majority on it. All right, and that is the end of Vanessa's turn. Now we're back to Sean. So Sean is now going to finish playing this song. Now, when this is done, this is going to flip over to two. So if anybody wants to play this song again this round, it's going to cost them $2 instead of the one. But now he has to decide. Does he want to put all of his stuff on here and get his uh, coin? Or does he want to redistribute some of his energy? He's got plenty of energy to work with, plenty of energy to work with on his card. So he's going to get that dollar, which means he gets his dollar back, basically, from playing the song. Gets to put his energy on that card. And oh, we got to flip that over to the two. So I think that was a pretty smart move for Sean. Maybe not. I'm sure we'll get comments below. And then we can now decide how he wants to play his next card. He's got plenty of songs to work with. Doesn't have that wild like Vanessa's got, but it's still pretty cool. 
Um, and yeah, he might go for... Well, he's already got three on there. He knows that I'm going to have influence on here for four, which he cannot beat. But he may want to just distribute a little bit more across here and get some uh, points on here. He knows Vanessa's going to be beating me on this, um, but he's got some wiggle room here um, as far as... Well, he doesn't have any saxophone power because we said that he didn't wouldn't need it later. Maybe we should have rethought that. Um, so it doesn't make sense for him to do that, but he could put some energy on here because he's got two trumpets, he's got one drum, and he's got one saxophone. So yeah, he can play this one, and he can start playing towards this one as well. Now, even though Vanessa's still playing a song here, he will also play on that. Do, 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 do. We're just going to move this down a little bit and put his song here. Vanessa's will move in a moment anyway. Um, so we'll put one saxophone out, two trumpets, because everyone loves a trumpet solo, and a drum. And that will be his turn. So now i got to think about what I want to do here. Do I want to pull down... I could put... Do I want to put all my energy on? Yeah, I want to put it, because this one pays out the highest if I have the um, majority on it. So I want to put all my energy on it right now. And since I matched it, I get the dollar too. So we're going to put all our energy on there, and we're going to take that back into our reserve. And now I have to really think about what I want to do if I want to try to contest Vanessa over there, or... Do I need to learn some songs? I think I need to learn some music. And I have just enough energy to do it. Um, so yes, we're going to do that. Not going to tip yet, because I'm not sure quite where I want to go. Um, but I am going to pay one energy from each of my guys. And now you notice I still I only have energy on my saxophone now. But on my next turn... I can tip so I can bring back that energy back depending on what song I decide I want to play. So that's one way I can look at it. Um, so, ooh, we're going to get this one. So this is a cool one. This is one of those combo songs. So it has two options on it to match the mood, which I really like. So I'm going to take this one. And that is my turn. So now we're back over to Vanessa. She definitely wants to win the majority here, so she's not even going to think about it. She's just going to put her energy right on there and get four. And she gets her dollar for matching that. And what we're going to do now is just fast forward to the scoring. I'm going to finish up this round, and we'll show what scoring looks like at the end of it. <laughs> All right, so, whoops, I, I'll just pretend I had updated that. All right, so we've moved on to the end of the round. Everybody is passed at this point, and they've placed all their energy tokens the way they want to distribute them on here based on songs that they played. So this is how scoring is going to look at the end of a round. So you're going to go by each crowd and just count up and see who has the most influence. So on this first crowd here, Vanessa has two, Sean has five, and I have two. So what's going to happen here is because Sean has majority, he's going to get paid out for the um, majority amount here, and then also because he met the threshold. So he'll make $3 for that uh, particular song that he played. Um, Vanessa and I have each gotten the threshold of one, so we each get a dollar for that uh, particular um, turn. Everybody gets their influence back. Whoops. As you drop cubes everywhere, Zach. And we put this over here. Now, because Sean won that crowd, he actually is going to get the mood token as well. Uh, the mood tokens will be used to settle um, ties at the end of the game. They are also used if, for some reason, on the start of the next round, if there is a tie for money, which is how you indicate who is goes goes first on the next round, um, if there is a tie for that, then the mood tokens will also break that tie. So it's a good little extra thing to have. You want those mood tokens. Uh, 
Now this would go away and will get replaced at the start of the next round. Now we look at the next crowd of people. So Vanessa got four, I got five, and Sean got two, um, which means I have majority on this one, uh, which is good because it paid out the most here. Um, so I would get $3 for that and $1 for meeting the threshold, so a total of four. Uh, Vanessa did not beat me, so she gets the $1 threshold. And Sean um, just barely made it with two, so he also gets the dollar. And I get that influence token. And the final crowd of this round we would look at here. This goes away. Come on. Now this one's interesting. I only got three on here, so I'm only going to get the threshold. Vanessa and Sean both tied. Uh, we got two, four, six, two, four, six. Uh, yeah, they tied. So what happens with a tie uh, for first place on um, the wow on the crowd tokens is that both people will get the payout amount for this. So both of them are going to get two. And both of them are going to get the thresholds. So they'll each make $3 for this. Um, I only reach the threshold, so I get a dollar. But what doesn't happen is the mood token. Um, nobody gets this. This just goes right back in the box. It's out of the game. And that's that. Um, but everybody would get the payouts for that round. And you're going to do this uh, the same thing for each round. Um, the turn structure stays the same. The difference between each turn uh, round is we're going to add in more streets. So for the... Just to go into my final thoughts here on it, it's a really cute area control game with gorgeous colors for the artwork. It really draws the attention for it. Um, it it's a lot of fun. Uh, every time I play it, I love the, the intricacies of trying to manage your energy on here. Um, you find yourself looking for combos of, okay, I'm going to play this song here, even though I don't need any more, um, you know, I don't need any more energy on this. Maybe I'm winning it. Maybe I'm not even trying to contest it. I might play a song somewhere just to match the mood, just so that I can redistribute my energy. Because I only have to put one onto the card. The other energy I can put back into my band, and then I can use it where I want it to go. So you find a lot of stuff like that going on. Um, plus, when you play with three of these special ability cards, um, this really adds to the fun. Um, because now you really start looking at those standards and be like, oh, is it worth that dollar to play this song? Um, because now I get to do this cool thing. Um, like maybe I get to redistribute energy from one card over to another. So nobody would be expecting that. And all of a sudden I can sneak in and take the victory on that card and make even more money. Um, you're always looking for the moods to synergize. Always. Because that, you know, that option of getting that extra dollar, that can make or break the game. I've seen some of my plays through of this where, uh, you know, the, the spread is maybe only one or two dollars between two players um, and it was that person who made sure that they matched the mood to the crowd so they got that extra bonus money on there that you normally would not get so it's a lot of fun um, to play this game uh, you know just and it's a very different area control game there's no combat at all um, there is a little bit of a uh, you know, messing with the players because you might learn a song that they want or you might start, you know, playing songs on an area. Um, we had a really intense game where, you know, I wanted to, I didn't have a song to play that matched the mood, but there was one in the standards. So I decided, I, hey, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to, you know, play that standard. But somebody took the standard before I could play it. So those do come into play um, quite often, in fact, especially in the early game when you don't have as many songs learned. And then there's the question of, you know, do I tip? Do I not tip? You know, do I want to hold back on that? Or do I want to just get my energy, as much energy as possible right now? So a lot of fun decisions, but it's a very quick, uh, like I said, 45-minute game here. So uh, the Kickstarter for this is going up on February 11th. I believe that is a Monday. Um, if you really like... Sorry, my dog has an itch if you hear that in the background. Um, if you uh, really like what you saw here, um, consider going on to the Kickstarter. We will put a link in the description below. Uh, so you can certainly go and uh, show some support for Weird Draft Games. They make a lot of cool stuff, and I highly recommend um, going and checking out Big Easy Busking. Uh, the New Orleans... 
think I pronounced that right. I know I'm from the north. Uh, I, I did look it up. Uh, the New Orleans uh, game of playing music in the streets. All right. But thanks for watching. Oh, and do like the cool kids do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Sam, can you tell me what a busker is? Huh? Can you sing? No? Well, we'll tell everybody what it is. <laughs> Here you go, buddy.